Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have remembered to start my timer. This is Cause to Buy Eclairs. I think this might have come from uh, Publix. So, four chamber container for uh, paint and my shovel to remove it with. My skewers that I expect to make some marks with. And I'm just going to go ahead and use whatever is handy. Especially that that needs to be used up. That's some enamel. That looks like it needs to have something taken out of it. I'm just going to keep... Oh, this is some red opal from uh, Treasures. That may or may not go well in there. We'll make it. We'll make it work. This is some orange color shift from Folk Art that's very red and I really enjoyed using it last time. And it surprised the heck out of me that I did so much because I don't usually... Some of the paint bottles... Yes, I see that. I'm not too worried when the flow troll does that. It just... Um, it's a momentary panic and then it's over. That's my first plug bottle. And it doesn't want to come out, so I want that paint color. What I'm going to be doing with this canvas is using the shovel to make areas, squares or geometrics. Probably nothing wiggly, but definitely just covering areas of the canvas. I'm going to try and find some of my dioxidine purple again. And i got to remember to use some white because it helps break things up and add some contrast. I'm going to try and remember to shake everything. I'm just going to start over here with that. I don't know where that purple came from, but I do know I probably made it into a iridescent by adding golden iridescent pearl fine, which four ounces is like, I don't know, 20 bucks or something. Now, I really, really, really haven't used a whole lot of this enamel, and I think it was a folk art. I'm not sure. It was in the craft section, but it came out beautiful in my last painting, so I'm encouraged to want to use it. And that is a paint that usually sinks. I shouldn't have done that, probably. I haven't used any of my favorite color shifting turquoise today. And I don't mind thinking that I might have overly enough. I would like to have enough to cover a lot of this canvas. Whoa, Cardinal. Cardinal almost came in the tent. I'm going to go ahead and use some of that. Oh yes, that's what I wanted in there for sure. I've got some minty green that I like as, as well. But it looks like it needs a little bit of this. Whoops, got a little bit of that. I am going to give this a little bit of my enamel. You never know, we might actually get some cells. I kind of doubt it, because unless you're agitating it, seriously, you don't. And that was my folk art neon purple multi-surface paint. Now somewhere I have, yes, and that is the Anita's metallic. And I'm thinking I'm getting very close, but I want something a lot brighter on one end, just because I can. That's the name of my first book, by the way. Under the link tree link, there's an Amazon link and all kinds of other links. And that's where you can find all kinds of really cool stuff. My website. You can find uh, Teespring clothing, all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. I think I'm going to put some more of that red opal right in here. Although, I'm hoping it looks better than it looks that, like that when I finish it. Strangely enough, I like gold with the yellow, and that seems strange to me. I would love to put some black in there, but I'm afraid all blacks are based with another color, and I'm afraid it, will, it might turn out to be green. I'm going to put a little bit... I know I shook that. A little bit of that deep turquoise from somebody or other. Keep all my colors sort of handy so I can use them, and I'm just going to start dipping away. And once I dip, I want some more red in this end piece. 
And I want some more magenta in there too. Maybe. So I'm just going to look for places. Yeah, I was going to look for places that need to be covered because my I just put one coat. Yeah, I messed with it. I'm going to go back and forth. between colors. Usually I'd waggle these all over the place. But this time I just want to play fast and loose with paint. And see how far I can get. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but it's still, in my mind, it still has something to do with skewers. We shall see. I want to put some of that back into that container so I can go back to my purples, which will go just ducky with that. Try and leave the lead the shovel to the edge. So it'll go down over. Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm kind of focused. I'd like to get this covered. I also want some lighter colored pink in there for sure. Just not sure where I'm going to put it yet. I think I'm going to put some right in this end in here. Let's see what happens with that. Oh, that was not my intention. Try not to dip your tools in your paint. It's not always easy to get a flat end on this and it's definitely something to keep an eye out for when you have things coming out. So I like that quite a bit. I'm going to grab some more of it. See how far I can get that to go out. Maybe all the way to the next bar, but I do see that thing that has to come out of there. I'm kind of thinking, if I widen that stripe up by running the shovel down the side, then you guys will know how to do that. And I'm having a good time. I'm going to say thank you guys for all of the generosity that you've shown me over time, helping keeping me, keep me painting. I think if I start back and go forward, actually in cross, <laughs> Anyway, I want to say thank you to everybody who's contributed to help keep me painting. I really appreciate it. And check the end screens for the video that's the exhibition video in any given month, and you'll find that particular month's drawing prizes. Do I want to go there? I kind of could. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I think I'm going over here. I'm trying to get that paint to come out evenly as a chore and a bit of a challenge. So this could take a little practice. I don't know how full I want to fill that up, but I think using the white makes me happy. So I'm just going to do that some more. Just add it right on top of the other colors because it makes a nice change. I kind of want some more of it right. I want some purple. I'm not getting enough purple, not nearly enough. Right over the side, just a little bit. Alright, I'm getting kind of close to something anyway. Grab some more white. I might even 
you tempted to mix some of that up. The theory is if I start back from where I'm supposed to start, I can always push it forward and then I forget to do it. Now, I've got paint in my shovel, which means I can do whatever I want. With that paint in my shovel, as long as I'm careful, <laughs> which is not necessarily what I am generally. But I'm thinking I'm going to try it this time. Just let that go right over the edge. We want a whole bunch of other things. I use GAC 800 in all of my paint mixtures, that way they don't crack. That's what GAC 800 is for. I still haven't used the, um, skewer. Excuse me for pausing. Used to be I could think of a bunch of things all at once. Not so much anymore. I'm beginning to think that it would be nice to just take my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula and put some other things where I can fit them. There aren't that many places to fit them though. Maybe the smaller one would do. I have a smaller one. Maybe turn it around every other time. You can use anything you want. I mean, it's not like the, the art tools, the catalyst spatulas are the only thing you could use. I'm going to wipe that off and go back and find some of my... I'm going to do that. Right where that drop is. They don't have to be perfect squares. Matter of fact, chances are if you try and make them perfect squares, you're probably going to lose your mind trying. Just color blocks as best you can. If you don't start at the edge and you push it out, then you have a much better chance of succeeding. still haven't put the skewers in there and I'm not sure I'm going to anymore. I've got two minutes though, so I've got some time. I've got some time to ribbon dribble if I want to. I can take all of my paint as best I can. I used all my paint up, by the way. want some more. If I want if I wanted enough, I'll take what I've got. Which is gonna be kind of mucky. <laughs> I might have to be a little careful. Well I kind of like it without doing any of the uh, skewering, but you knew that was a possibility when I said that. I'm sure most of you went like, yeah right. <laughs> but um uh, I think I'm just going to play for a while. And if I wind up skewering, so be it. That is the art tool number two. The short little front, which I kind of like. kind of wish I had some white, and I do. I'm 
trying to camouflage that spot. Just use any little accidents as incentive. To make some different textures and have some fun. Back and forth and back and forth. I haven't put any dots in here. I don't really have to. It's just kind of fun. It looks like um, looks like big fat mosaic. Sort of even that out a little bit. So I should tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you because I'm I might be done sooner than later. I should torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I wonder what happened if you tipped one of these. Probably not a good idea to find out right now. I've got some paint that sort of matches this part over here and it didn't go all the way over so I'm just going to add it to the edge. Let it become one. I don't have to go over every edge. I kind of want some green. I got two minutes left to tell you guys whatever I want to tell you. Which is, I have an Amazon link, and if you shop there, it's at no idea cost to you, and it helps me out. And do I really want to do this? Oh my. Well, I said I would to begin with. So I guess I am. I'm going to clean it off in between, though. Just because I can. That's just way too fat for that spot. I'm kind of hoping I don't ruin anything. I'm hoping that it comes out interestingly. That's a big risk. I need some paint. It is a big risk. It feels risky. But I kind of trust my muse to tell me it's okay to play. I got one minute left and that's not enough time to tell you everything. So check out my playlist. There's over 1600, excuse me, <laughs> there's over 1360 some odd videos there on created playlists on Expression to Start Studio Gallery. Appreciate, uh, that's Appreciation Group. That's for Facebook group for where you might find tomorrow's video and uh, other people who are interested in sharing their art while we're all learning. And yeah, I'm, I'm officially just playing fast and loose and having way too much fun dipping in. And in that case, pulling down. So I will see you guys anon. Please share my videos. Thank you for giving me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. I appreciate your comments and all your donations have kept me painting. And I think I mentioned that. And I will see you. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. This is going to look similar, but not the same.